Hi and welcome students. Today's tutorial will cover Microsoft Excel 2016 and how to select cells and ranges. Let's go ahead and get started. So I see I have an Excel spreadsheet here. I'm going to zoom in by holding control and scrolling up on the mouse wheel. Alright, so what's on this spreadsheet isn't really important, but I'm going to show you basically how to select your cells and ranges in Excel, as well as a few tips and tricks and shortcuts using your keyboard. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you have to know about Excel is it's comprised of columns and rows. So you'll see that columns are designated with letters, A, B, C, so on and so forth and rows are designated with numbers. A combination of rows and numbers is called a cell. So for instance, if I click right here, it will pop up with a green border around this right here, and this tells me this is cell B4, all right? So to select a cell, all you need to do is click on the cell. As soon as a cell is active or selected, you'll see up here in the name box, it will display the name of that cell, okay? So you can select one cell just by clicking on whatever cell that you choose. Okay, typically when I click on cells, I click in the middle of the cell. All right, you can also move to the next cell using the arrow keys on your keyboard. So if I press the up arrow, it'll move me up a cell. The down arrow will move me down a cell, left to the left, and right to the right. So that's how you can uh, move around using your keyboard. Now what I'm going to teach you is how to use Excel to select what's called a range. Okay, so for instance, if you wanted to select more than one cell, let's say I wanted to select everything into this yellow area right here, this yellow box, and I wanted to select all of those cells. Well, all I would do is click and drag from the first cell over to the column that I want and down to the end. So this would be the range of D4 through E8. So D4 to E8 is currently selected. I could tell because the green border appears around the entire uh, entire group of cells. Again, a group of cell is, cells are called a range. So there we go. That's how we select a range. Now, let's say I wanted to select this uh, range right here for these four cells. Now, if this range is selected, that means whatever formatting changes I make to these cells will appear on all four cells. So let's say these are all prices right here. I want to set them up with a number or a dollar sign as well as two decimal places. Well, I could go to the home tab, the number group, and I can choose accounting number format, and it will do that. All right, so one more trick I wanted to show you is how to select a range using your keyboard. And let's say I wanted to select average price, and so I could, again, use my keyboard to move around. And if I select average price, and then I hold down shift, and I press the down arrow, it will select everything below that cell, right? I could always just click and drag. Now, if I hold uh, shift and control at the same time, and I press down, that will actually select everything until the next blank cell. So that's a nice little shortcut as well. All right, so the next thing I want to do is teach you how to select non-adjacent cells in Microsoft Excel. Well, we see here that I have total items in stock over here, as well as quantity in stock over here. These are essentially the same number, but they are in different places, right? So if I wanted to select both of these at the same time, what I could do is I could click on the first one, hold down Control, and click on the last one or the next one. Again, anytime you hold down control, it'll allow you to select cells that are not close to each other. You'll notice that one ap cell appears in light shading and one appears in dark shading. Whichever one is in light shading is your active cell, meaning if you type, it's going to edit that particular cell. So if I was going to edit either of these, I could press tab to move in between them or I could press shift tab to move backwards. So now that I have both of these selected, again, any formatting changes that I make will be updated to both of them. So I'm gonna to go to the home tab, the number group, and I'm gonna choose comma style. And you'll see comma style will be applied to both. But since comma style was applied, I see that it turns into this number sign. A lot of people, they worry when they see this number sign, all you have to do is go up and increase the cell size just a little bit. And you'll see right here, we have quantity in stock, 1650, with two decimal places, but we can't sell half of a product, so I'm gonna decrease the decimals right there. And there we go. Now that's been formatted correctly. The next thing you need to know about selecting cells is, let's say we have statistic here, but we want it to say statistics, right? Well, we would have to basically edit the end of this to put an S on here. Now, if I want to enter this cell, I have to double click it to enter in, and then I could type the S, all right? So that's one way to do it, or another way, I could go up to the formula bar right up here, click after the C, 
type in S and press enter to go down or tab to move across. And then we see that's now been selected. So now when you're in, entering in data, you should be able to select a whole range. You'll see your active cell. Tab will move you across the row, as you can see across the row, and then it'll move you down the column. And then enter will move you down the column, right? So that's the best way to enter in your data. Again, shift tab or shift enter will move you backwards. And so those are your keyboard shortcuts for moving around your spreadsheet. So given the information that you learned on this video, you should be able to uh, move around your spreadsheets a little bit easier and enter in data more efficiently. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. I do about three videos every single week. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.